everyone out there in the YouTube world, Spartan Warrior 5 again here today, bring all another commentary video. And today we have a pretty big commentary. This is a 32 and 4 Black Ops 2 gameplay on, uh, I can't remember what map this is, but it's been such a long time. And it's, this is just gameplay I've had stored up that I'm just going to use because it's 10 minutes. It's a pretty long gameplay. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I have a pretty serious topic here. And in terms of like gaming wise topic and YouTube and dealing with future events coming up here so I think it's kind of a good length for what I need to talk about sorry if you guys get bored but this is just something that I can put up easy don't have to do a whole bunch of editing with it that I can just talk with so let's just get right into this talking about the PlayStation 4 yes I have a PlayStation 4 I got it on release I've been enjoying the hell out of it. It's a very good system so far. First day issues have been resolved with in terms of the uh, PlayStation Network. It's been running fine for me. Everything's been going great. I've been enjoying uh, Battlefield 4 a lot. It runs great on the system. Ghost is okay too. They just need to uh, work on the network for it, which I'm hoping they do because that game has potential. But again, that'll be a topic for a later video. Biggest issues so far with the system have been this. Limited functionality with sub-accounts and the HDCP restrictions on external capture cards. Let's go into the sub-account thing first. A little history on Spartan Warrior 5, my PSN account. Back when we first got the PlayStation 3 a few years ago, we had originally created one account, which was my brother's Rocker58. And that was it, and then we would just play our games on that, and it was fine and dandy. Until we started going into more multiplayer games, which we all wanted our own separate different accounts. And at the time, they were asking for credit card information, stuff like that, and we were kind of reluctant to go through that whole process. And so there was this option of creating what was known as a sub-account, something that an account that could be made under your main account, that you could just use as a different account and then go from there which at the time was something that we were interested in and wanted to do so that's what we ended up doing we created two separate sub accounts under rocker 58 one of them being um, Spartan Warrior 5 and the other one I can't remember his uh, I think Cougar 50 was the other account name originally but um, yeah it was um, we created two different sub accounts for myself and for my other brother and then that was that was it we had different accounts that we could use and play games on and so that during that time period it was great fast forward to now with the PlayStation 4 it's mm, there's a lot of limited functionality on it now with sub accounts you can't uh, use the share button which is the biggest one I have uh, right now you can't purchase things on the PlayStation Network or um, download on the PlayStation Network. You have to have a main account. And so far, those have been the two major things I've run into because of my sub-account status. There hasn't been too much else that I've noticed that has you know, not worked because I have a sub-account. This is a big problem, for me at least, because first off, I want to keep the username Spartan Warrior 5. I, that's just the one I've grown to become known for on this channel as Spartan Warrior 5 and so I want to be able to keep that name but I have very limited uh, what you call them oh, I cannot think of the word functionality I guess is the main uh, main focus here I can't record gameplay with the share button I can't download or things like that which I guess isn't that big of an issue but it does exist and so if Sony's watching this, if you know any of the big people are watching this, I'm not sure how they can be able to address this, but if they can, that would be great. Or if you want to just bypass this altogether, it goes into our next issue of the HECP of not being able to record with external capture cards. I have an HEP VR2. I just recently picked it up because I thought, you know, PlayStation 4 would be running on HDMI only go get a HDP VR2 and then I fix the problem because I can record HDMI with it. Turns out that PlayStation 4 has something that's known as HDCP, something that protects the signal from the HDMI 
to go through into external capture cards. Now PlayStation 3 had this as well, but they had the options of component and the AV cables, the standard definition cables. They had different out ports that didn't have this protection under it, so that's how I've been able to record my gameplay previously, is through component cables. They said at E3, or around the time of E3, that they would be releasing an update that would help with the uh, recording with external capture cards. So far, they haven't said anything about it. I've tweeted at a few PlayStation uh, accounts on Twitter, including the president of Sony, uh, the account Ask PlayStation. No responses. I tweeted at Boogie2988, who seems to be, you know, one of Sony's favorited spokespeople. He hasn't responded yet. And so I'm just, I'm waiting for replies back, and so far none have happened. Which is kind of annoying as a little person because you want to have your voice heard and you see all these other people getting attention and things like that, having their issues addressed. And when there's something that hasn't been addressed in a while, not come up, it's kind of frustrating. And especially for the people who want to record for YouTube who can't use the share button because they can't, you know, use it because of their sub-account status. I've already made another main account, Dat Rambling Man. Uh, that'll probably be in the description below, but if I can, if I can avoid it at all possible, I would want to just keep using Spartan Warrior 5. It's the name I have grown up with, it's the name that everyone knows me by, and so I would want to keep using it. But if I, if I have to, if Sony doesn't pass anything to remove HTCP, then I'll have to move to that account, and that's how I'll be able to use the share button. But even at this point, the share button is for streaming on uh, Twitch TV or you or the uh, Uplay, or I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but the main one is Twitch. And it doesn't, so far, that I know of, have any way to actually get the gameplay off the system on your computer to edit, render, and things like that to make it look like this, you know. And I'm just wondering, I've been asking around, is there going to be any updates or patches to either remove HTCP or to alleviate it so that we can record with external capture cards for just gameplay, maybe not Blu-ray discs, because I think that's the main reason why that exists. It's because of people pirating Blu-ray discs and recording footage from movies and putting it on the internet. But um, th those are the main things, and I'm going to be tweeting this video out to those members of PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation on Twitter. I'm mean, probably tweeting this out to Boogie tonight himself. I'm going to try tweeting this out to a lot of people so that we can start this whole topic getting back up to date. Because I've Googled this, I've looked for solutions online, and so far all of the information is outdated. It's all back from E3, people talking about uh, Sony saying that they would release an update or patch to help with this. And so far Sony hasn't said anything else about it. So, I mean, this is trying to be a movement to say, hey, you know what? Where's the support for external capture cards? Because there are people like me who either don't want to stream, who want to stay on YouTube and just keep doing this, who at this point can't record with external capture cards. Now, I don't really know if there's any... if this whole method of converting the HDMI signal to components through, like, splitters or, you know, converter boxes, if that would work. And if so, I would probably try that out. But I'm assuming that the quality would be diminished and things like that. Which is something I don't want to have because PlayStation 4 games are gorgeous. They are so detailed and I want to be able to share that experience with everyone on the internet. And so far, with what's in place with the PlayStation 4, I can't. I just, I can't do it. If this means I have to move to Twitch and start streaming, I might consider doing it. But right now, as it stands, I'm not exactly sure how to stream and all the uh, technical things that go into streaming, maybe that's just something that we'll have to learn. And as it stands, I can't record PlayStation 4 gameplay, which is a shame because I've been doing really good on Battlefield 4 and I wanted to share some gameplays with you all, but again, can't record it. So I'm waiting for people's replies and hopefully this video will uh, get some views from people who can either make change or can reach out to those people who will be able to make change and we'll start to get this word around. What's going to happen with HECP? What's going to happen with sub-accounts? 
things like this because as it stands the PlayStation 4 is kind of limiting what I can do in terms of recording and other things like that so I want to thank you all for watching this long video I hope you all enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you all soon hear from you and hopefully will change will uh, happen